I said, dude, if, if there's anybody out there that needs to make a mid-tech, it's you. That way, the knives are more readily available and they're lesser expensive, and more people can experience what I think is probably the best utilitarian blade in the world of knives right now. And I talked to him very shortly thereafter. I forgot if it was on the phone or it was through uh, messaging. But he says, you know what he is? I actually am looking at doing uh, a mid-tech line of knives. It's not uh, anytime soon, but it is something I'm, I've definitely considered doing that I want to do. So, guys, that is going to happen. There will be a mid-tech razel at some point, maybe in a year, maybe in two. Who knows? But then everybody gets to experience this great blade. And the reason I love it is you obviously have your standard uh, grind here, very, very, very sharp edge. But this, the whole front of the blade there, and you can see that mirror polish on there, that is every bit as sharp as the primary cutting edge. So you've got a great scraping tool, you've got something, you've got a really sharp corner here where you can, you know, dig into material, you can, you know, kind of twist it and, and, and kind of dig stuff out. Uh, it is just, it is one of the most phenomenal blades that you're ever going to experience. And I love the fact that this is a dressier model. What you've got here uh, is Chad Nichols' Zirka tie. And I contacted Chad about this, and I said, you know, so what really is this? He goes, well, he goes, it's three alloys that I'm using to make this type of, uh, like, mokutai. So it's mokutai, but not with the standard materials. He goes, the three alloys are 6AL4V titanium, which is a titanium alloy, and then pure titanium, and then zirconium. And I'm creating it out of traditional flipper. I'm going to have with him at the show... You guys know I've been chasing a Graham forever. I had a chance to review the GL Tanto that belonged of the handles, and I wanted a more over what uh, John Graham sells these for, but really not by a hell of a lot. Um, in a thread conversation on Instagram, when I had taken a few pictures of this, which uh, John was uh, kind enough to shoot me some uh, nice words about, Somebody asked me what these uh, had sold for. I said, you know, I've never seen one selling at his price, so I'm not sure. I said I'd figure around 1200 bucks, and John said, yep, you're right, about 1200 bucks with the uh, Zirka tie that's uh, inlaid into the titanium, but we'll talk about that in a moment. And uh, I paid considerably more than that, but I don't feel I overpaid. Uh, I do know a dealer that had one identical to this for a while. I even tried to negotiate a deal with him, but I wasn't going to pay what he wanted. He he had it for about eighteen. I want to say it was eighteen hundred dollars. So I paid more than twelve, paid less than eighteen. So I feel I'm in good shape. Now, for those that haven't seen my other, my three other Graham videos, uh, let's talk about. I'm not really a guy that's into the color green, but uh, CPM one fifty four CM for the steel. So it's going to. Uh, I have a pretty pretty good edge retention. Like locks in very solidly, very firmly, and I love the contouring that uh, John does on all of his hand choil up here. He's got a choil up here on the phone and through emails and whatnot. Uh, the review that I did on his oh start bringing in even more quantities of guest blade. 